What's good, Gun Family? Urban Gun Reviews, and today on the channel, I'll be doing my first impressions of the Bond Arms Roughneck. Let's check it out. Before we get into this video, Gun Family, I appreciate it if you help me beat the YouTube algorithm. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you do that. If you like, comment on the video, it all helps me beat the YouTube algorithm. It helps my videos get out there more. So uh, do that for me, Gun Family, and let's get into this video right now. So what we have here is the uh, Bond Arms Roughneck. And this is chambered in 45 ACP. Uh, I got it at my local Rural King, and the ticket on it was like 280 bucks. Oh Lord! Um, when I, I had put this on layaway, but it's a story behind it. Originally, when I went there probably a few months ago, like a month ago or something like that. I had put this on layaway, but it wasn't this exact gun. They didn't have the Bond Arms in 45 ACP. They had it in three, uh, 357 Magnum. So they had it in 357 Magnum, they had it in uh, 9mm, and they had it in 38 Special. So I didn't want the 9mm because I got enough 9s. I really didn't want a 38 Special because you can't shoot 357 through it. Um, so I got, I originally put the 357 on layaway because I could shoot 357 rounds and I could shoot 38 special rounds. All right. So I originally went that way and I had the 357, uh, Magnum Bond Arms, uh, firearm on layaway. And then I went to go pay on it. And when I went to go pay on it, I seen it had the 45 and I was like, I'd rather get the 45. So I uh, swapped it out, cost me $10 that I ended up losing. And um, the next day I ended up just going in and paying this off and stuff like that. So that's the story behind it. Um, if you remember in my guns that I wanted to get before the end of 2021, this was one that I wanted, the Bond Arms. I believe I wanted, there's two different models. Well, there's a whole bunch of different calibers that you can get in this, but the 45 was one of the calibers. And the other caliber that I wanted, I believe it was a 410, and it shoots the 410 shotgun shells and something like that, 45 long Colt. Maybe that's it, maybe it's not. I can't really remember the other model that I wanted. But I know I wanted two of these. So uh, I went out and got this, and to me, this is an awesome little gun. Um, like I said, it shoots 45 ACP, is classified as a Derringer, it's a two shot Derringer. Um, this is just something that's, that's going to be my pocket gun, my backup gun. And, uh, I think it's a cool little gun. You know, it's, uh, basically, uh, fits in the palm of my hand, uh, smaller than the palm of my hand, really. Um, something I'm going to keep, uh, around wherever I be at. I ain't going to tell you specifically where I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to keep it around, keep it in my pocket. It's going to be a backup secondary gun to my EDC. So, uh, really, this is just like all else felt somebody run up on me, and I'm like, I'm in close range, and I need to get you up off me. I got two shots of 45 ACP to get you up off me. Uh, I always watch videos on guns that I want to get, and I seen the firearms guy. He was hitting a steel target from the furthest distance was 55 yards. He hit it from 55 yards with this. Um, I don't know if it's a 45, but I, I think it was. I can't, I can't really remember. But from 55 yards away, that's pretty accurate. Um, you got a little indentation right here, which is kind of like something that you just go through to see the front sight picture. These are not adjustable sights or anything. It's all uh, built into the frame. You got the hammer, rubberized uh, grips on the outer side of the grip. Um, heavy trigger but it, it's like you see how much room you got to pull on it so it's not even a lot of room um you got the, your uh this is what opens up your barrel so pull that and then it goes flips up like that 
two shots in there. Um, these guns are really cool because, not just because of the size, but because of, I guess you can call it modularity, because, yeah, this shoots 45 ACP, but there's 38 different calibers, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 38 different calibers that you can shoot from this. And it's simple as removing, I believe it's this screw, this screw right here. You remove that, the barrel comes off, and you put another barrel on there. And that allows you the capability to shoot another caliber, a whole different caliber from this same gun. Doesn't change the frame or anything. Your serialized part is on here, so this is all your serialized part. Your barrel is not... Uh, serial last so you don't have to worry about uh, doing another uh, form or something for a new barrel um, the barrel prices I seen they're about probably about a hundred and some to maybe 200 something bucks so they're probably about the price of, of the gun uh, like I said the trigger on here is uh, it's pretty pretty uh, gritty but I mean you're not expecting a smooth crisp trigger this is literally something that you know, you just pull out and, and really try to get somebody up off of you. And, uh, you know, it's, it's heavy. And I expect it. I'm not mad at it. Um, but I like it. So, uh, hopefully I can get out to the range pretty soon. Just grab me a box of 45s. And I'll just shoot the whole box. And uh, hopefully, you know, this gun does what it's supposed to do and it works the way it's supposed to do. I have my full review giving you all the details, ins and outs, and all the goods and the bads and, you know, mediocres and all the other stuff that, you know, we do when we talk about guns to really determine if it's worth your money or if you should, you know, look another direction. But, like I said, I was really liking this. Uh, it was on my list of guns to get. This is not really something that I think, and yeah, my finger is in the thing, you know, so don't don't get on me. This is not really something that I think I would shoot with two hands, not with like two hands on there because I'm, I'm just worried about blowing my thumb off or my finger off or something. So it would be more of a, a like this type of thing. Maybe I really haven't figured it out. I did read that you want to keep your hand like off of the uh, hammer because if you put pressure on the hammer it could make the trigger uh, pull even uh, heavier so some you might want to consider I got you know big man hands so it's like I can do it you know I can I can do it and get it like that now if it's cocked then that hammer goes all the way back there so now essentially letting off of some of that grip a little bit but it could be done you know this I, I can't see doing that I can't see really being comfortable holding it like that I mean I guess I could you know but I mean this ain't something that I'm gonna be trying to get aim and shoot five ten feet with this is something if you know I, I can't get to my my EDC I need to get you up off me I'm just pulling in bow you know you just gonna catch a, a hot one wherever I hit I hit but um like i said i like this uh i can't wait to get to, to shoot this and let y'all know and you know show y'all the video and all that but let me know in the comment section what y'all think about the bond arms roughneck uh 45 acp if you got one of these if you think it's a, a smart purchase you think it's a not so smart purchase or if you think that there's something better on the market that i should be looking at um let me know all that good stuff in the comments. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that by clicking on my logo in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, all that information is in the description. And as always, gun family, stay blessed, stay strapped. Let the two, two, three. He don't let one of these. Black TRP.